manipulate and edit photos right in Canva without using any additional separate apps. So what I'm gonna be showing you is just a few of the features that are built into Canva that you can use to manipulate your images when you are building out your Shopify banner images and getting your store ready to launch. So as you can see, we are looking at several duplicates of the same image that have been changed in transparency and size so that the main image is in the front. If this looks familiar, it is because this is the banner image I used for the Notion template where you probably found this link in this video. So to get those transparent, that's the first thing we're gonna cover, transparency. You'll wanna select an image, make sure that it has that purple box around it. You'll know that means it's selected. Go up to this top menu bar, hover over the checkerboard and it'll show you what each thing is. So transparency, position, et cetera, so on and so forth. Anything that does, isn't spelled out just hover over it and it'll tell you what it is. Then you wanna click on it. You can use the slider bar or you can type numbers into this box and it will change the transparency. If you put it on 100 transparency, that means that it will be its full color self. It will not be see-through at all. If you change it back to match the other ones, you can just change the number or you can slide it until it gets to where you want it to be. So that's transparency. And as you can see, this main image is on 100. So it is not see-through at all. It is not transparent at all. It is 100% full color. So that's what you do as far as transparency. Now, as far as resizing images, it's super simple in Canva. There's a couple of ways you can do it. So the first thing, if you want to resize an individual image, again, select it, make sure it is outlined in purple, the box with the little dots, the dots means you can move the box and make the image larger. And then this little slider on the top or on the sides brings it in tighter to sort of crop it, but there's also a cropping function, but we'll get to that in a second. So to make the image larger, you're just gonna wanna hover over the little dot and drag and you can make it as large as you want it. And then you can move it around. I want it in the middle, so I'm gonna make sure that these two pink lines intersect perfectly, and that's how you know your image is exactly in the middle. We're gonna undo everything just because I wanna leave it as it is because this is the actual banner and I wanna leave it. So the undo button helps you undo literally everything or redo it if you didn't mean to do that. Um, and it'll also show you the keyboard shortcuts if you're on a Mac or if you're on a Windows computer, it'll show you if you hover what are the steps to take on your keyboard if you don't wanna just click on these. Now, so that's one way you can resize an individual image, but how would you resize this entire banner? So say for instance, you're trying to upload this to your Shopify and your Brander Art logo or whatever your logo is, is cut off. How do you resize this so it may fit better when you try to upload it? You wanna go to share and then you wanna go to download You'll leave it on PNG or you can change it to JPG. Um, those are mostly the ones you're gonna use, but JPG or PNG are my two go-tos and I honestly just stick with PNG. And right here where it says size, you can change it here or you can do the slider. So just like our transparency thing, you can change it in the box with the number and just type the number in or you can use the slider down at the bottom and it will resize your image. So if you're just like, I would like this to be half the size instead of full size, because the one means it is full size. So one would make it the whole image. So we want it to be half the size. So we need to do, you can do decimals or you can just do So for something like this, okay, so what you wanna do, if you are in the, the box, if you drag it up, it'll show you exactly how large you can make this image. So dragging it all the way to the end, it will be 3.125 times the size of it is right now. 
So it'll be 3938 by 2188 pixels. That's a very large image. If you want it smaller, all you would need to do is drag it backwards. So this would make it about 75% as large as it was originally. Keep going and you can get it to 50%, which is the smallest it'll go. So 0 0.5 would make it half the size once you download it. And then all you would do is choose which images you wanna download and you can go ahead and hit done and then you'll download it. So if you've ever tried to upload something and it tells you like an error message and says, oh, this image is too big, you can always go back into your Canva account and drag it all the way down or however you need to adjust it so it will fit the dimensions that are required. Okay, so that's how you resize an image, um, an entire image versus just one individual part of your bigger image. Okay, so in terms of editing photos or removing backgrounds, so this part we're going to take away this white square in the background and we're just gonna have the sweatshirt here. So what you wanna do, and by the way, you do need Canva Pro for this part. So if you do not have Canva Pro, you can start, sign up for a 30-day free trial. You do not have to pay for Canva Pro uh, just to get your site up and running if you don't want to go ahead and download the trial. I am not an affiliate of Canva anymore, uh, but I do love the product and I still use it pretty much every day. So go ahead and click on your image. Remember your purple box will show up. It may be a little harder to see depending on the color of your background, but it is there. Once you have it selected, you'll go up here to edit photo. And then you'll go to this first box with the beach ball and the little checkerboard that says BG remover. BG stands for background remover. Uh, honestly, that background is one word. I don't know why it's abbreviated, but I'm guessing they just did not have enough space to write it. So you'll click it, it'll do its little spinning thing, and then voila, our background is gone. So say for instance, this was a product you're selling, you can manipulate this, move it around, right to left, whatever, you can use the little spinning arrows and make it angled. You can use this duplicate function to make two of them. Uh, you know, you can still play with the transparency. You can do a lot of different things with it. Um, you can even animate this and make it move around if you want to. That is something I cover in more advanced classes that are in the Brand Your Art Patreon if you wanna learn how to do things like that. Um, as far as when people come to your site, stuff is already moving without them having to press play, we do cover that. But that's not why I'm here today. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that animation there and you can always add your text or whatever you need to do. Um, you know, you could say new arrival, or whatever you want to do, make your own banners. Um, a lot of people sell banners and that's fine. It's just, I think it's good to know how to do these things in case you ever run into a situation where you don't have a team to help you or you know, you maybe you're pressed for cash or something like that. You can honestly learn how to do these things yourself and it'll also help you learn what to look for when you are hiring somebody. So you can do your own text next to each image and then you can download your banner. So the same thing, you just go up here to the share button, click download, choose which one you want. I'm going to stick with PNG and then I would just download my image. So none of this will move once you download it. You'll just be downloading this image as you have made it. So your white box will be gone, all your text will be here, and it won't be editable. I'm gonna go ahead and download that so we can see what it looks like, and it'll let you know when things are finished. So I'm gonna go to my downloads, and I'm gonna open up what I just downloaded, which is our image. And as you can see, I can't, really do anything as far as editing this or anything like this. This is just a static image and this could go on my page. This is just an example though. So that's how you manipulate your images in Canva to do what you need them to do. If you find that you are in Shopify and things are not centered properly, you can always 
Command A or Control A, depending on what device you're using, and select everything on that page. And you can use your handles and make it smaller. So say for instance, it was too big and it was not showing up properly on Shopify, you can select all just to make it smaller or larger or move things over. Um, you can also group things together to make it easier to move everything around instead of having to select each thing or to do the control all. 